Good afternoon, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. This is Sean, and this is, uh, like we were saying in the last trailer reaction, it's Trailer Reaction Tuesday. Uh, Thursday. Uh, all the trailers are coming out uh, because the Brazilian Comic Con is going on, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that's coming out of that. And this one is going to be Lost in Space Season 2. Now, I watched some of the episodes of the original Lost in Space show, but it was never one that really connected with me. It was a little too, I was, it was a little too far gone by the time I was at that point where it was uh, influential, let's put it that way. But the first season on Netflix was so good and had a lot of the cool throwbacks, but brought into a more of a modern kind of storytelling, a little bit more dark, a little less campy, that kind of thing. So I'm excited about this season. We'll get into what my thoughts could be an issue with this after the trailer, but here we go. Lost in Space, season two, and go. This is Will Robinson of the 24th Colonist Group. I'm making a record of this because it seems we're the first humans to try and turn a spaceship into a sailboat. Anchors away. <laughs> I am a passenger. Chris is a waterfall. Everyone, step in. Will, come on. I love you guys. Worst luck for a family ever. Thinking about the robot? I wish he was here too. We need to find Tim. We have to at least try. That robot is the key to everyone's survival. Uh. Christmas. What the heck is that? There's nothing else coming out of it. Where is everyone else? They have what? Do you know why? The monster? How many of these things are there? That monster? Is it the Demogorgon? We need to get out of here and leave all this behind. We have to protect ourselves. Whoa. Normal is out there somewhere. We just have to find it. Excuse me. I didn't get a job. Your job is to do nothing. And touch nothing. She never likes it when someone else saves the day. Nobody you really likes you. Your sisters. Keep each other safe. I love it. Ooh. Will Robinson, can anybody hear me? Baby! Baby! Spaceships is bad. Lost in space. Do do we really have to do this? Ooh. December 24th. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, wow. The, okay. Let's, let's just get it out there right now. This is movie level special effects. Like uh, you're not going to be able to do spaceships and nebulas and dust storms and uh, all that kind of stuff without having some serious uh, special effects money put into this. The first season is, you know, the family gets lost and the family decides to go into space and they get lost and it's a boy and his dog and and, and and all the the tropes that you know what lost in space is this is much more of a horror film <laughs> like i said it looks like the Depogorgon. it actually kind of moves like the Depogorgon, which is cool because i like the way it, it the kind of the way it's shaped and moved and is a is humanoid but yet creepy and not quite right and stuff um and it looks like like the uh the robot kind of has some organicness in it, uh, or at least that's what some of them look like. It, it's just, it, and it looks like there's some kind of extra ship that comes, you know, maybe it's the rescue mission or, or where they come across another ship or whatever. It looks like there's that giant space station kind of ship oh, that might be their ship that's their ship. And then they have the landing craft that ends up on the water planet that that's, that's probably what happens there but 
I'm really nervous about this because as much as the first season was well received by a lot of people, it's been a year and a half since it last came out and there hasn't been much talk about uh, about it at all. Uh, uh, Amongst my friends, every once in a while, when we're having the TV conversation of about shows we've binged and enjoyed and stuff like that, where we always, you know, talk about Stranger Things and The Mandalorian and The Watchmen and all that kind of stuff, and and then eventually at some point in time, oh yeah, there was Lost in Space, and almost all of my friends are like, they did a Lost in Space, and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty amazing, and so having this, um, having this big delay, it makes me really nervous that they're not going to really. Um, have the traction to move forward uh, for a season three or a season four, but it's Netflix, so I don't know. Maybe they this is what they do. I mean, maybe they don't and whatever. But uh, I really like what I saw in this. Like I said, it's a horror film uh, with a little bit of comedy at the beginning to kind of bring some levelty, uh, pointing out that we always why we always have to, you know, do we have to do this? Do we? You know, why we always crash? Kind of leaning into the tropes of what the show is i i I totally appreciate that and uh the quest to find the robot i think is gonna be a lot of fun and the ramifications for that could be very interesting uh and it looks amazing it looks so cool and it's hard to do space stuff and it's hard to do space stuff and it's hard to make space stuff look um look real it, it it's, it's kind of a weird word to use there but it, make it look weird real is kind of a hard thing and and it definitely got got my attention i'm super excited and so uh what do you guys think let us know in the comments be nice uh like this video help us out by subscribing to the channel and follow us on all of our social media stuff facebook instagram twitter all of those links are in the description down below below and if we don't see you Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.